Welcome back everyone, I'm Volcano Max, and this is DuckTales Remastered. As you can see, I've accumulated quite a few treasures, only one of them left, and that's the one on the moon. So let's climb out of the ball here, head to the moon, and end the game. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Are you? I can't hear you guys, because you're watching this in the future. So yeah, the moon, let's do it. Yes, yes, let's go to the moon. It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Gosh, Mr. McDuck! I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen-flavored taffy. Five good chews and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it'd take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look! Here's someone who can give us directions! Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Alright, this is the level everyone's been waiting for. Because this is the music that honestly kept the game famous. It's so good. Oh man. So here's the moon. We have to uh, find the green cheese in the moon vault. Yeah, I don't know why there's a moon vault and why only Gizmo Duck can get into it. Uh oh, what's this? Right, that looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Alright, so let's check out this spaceship, which is where most of the level is, as you'll see by the map. Including the three gizmo duck parts that we have to find. Yeah, spoiler alert, they're gizmo duck parts. Shouldn't really be surprised by that. So those things hurt me. Thus, I will be avoiding them. Just gonna check over here. It's probably treasure because, as you know, our main goal is money. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. I believe the level is nice too, but yeah, mostly money. Yay. I love how you can just pogo on things that normally kill you. Uh, down there just takes me back outside the spaceship, and I can't get back in that way, so I'm not even gonna bother showing that off. You can take my word for it. You believe me, right, audience? That's what I thought. Thanks, audience. Damn, that music is so good. It really is. That's what you get, little alien tentacle monster. And that's... Ah, what? Oh. Pretty sure this also takes me outside the ship, so I won't be going that way. Time to climb up and get those Gizmo Duck parts. Gizmo Duck being the best character from DuckTales, like even better than Launchpad, always was my favorite as a kid. Here, of course there is. Uh, okay, can't go up there yet. So let's go this way. Blast me, bagpipes! A piece of Gizmo Duck suit. Oh. If only I had a way to open this door. 
so yeah, not gonna be that easy. I mean, this is the final level. Like, even though you can do it first, they gotta make it the hardest one. So, Let's see. yep. Oh God, I love this song. It's so good. Oh, hey, there's Fenton. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, Fenton. Uh, oh, all right, fine. Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius. Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry, I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. We anti-gravity controls. So, since you can't swim in this game, this is the closest thing the game has to a swimming section. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. And back to the level. So now the gravity's turned back on. Thanks to that honestly kind of pointless segment. Whatever. Oh, oh, hey, what's up? Ah, I knew it. Knew there'd be something up there. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. So I don't really do test runs, as I'm sure you guys can tell. I don't think I might play through Suffer too much because of it, though. I mean, I seem to be doing okay. I haven't gotten any game overs yet, so there's that. Ow. And I'm already on the last level, so I think we'll be alright. Besides, that would be effort, you know. And on top of that, once you complete a level in this game, you actually can't go, go back to it or load a previous save without... Well, you have to start the game over from the beginning. So, test runs are honestly kind of out of the question. Ow. Uh, not doing too great on the health front here, but it's alright. I bet there's a cake in here somewhere. No, no cake here. But it's alright. Oh, I got an ice cream. So it's bad. It's something. Uh, so, let's talk about the enemies. Uh, let's start with these things. Little technical monsters just kind of float around. Yeah, don't really do too much of note. Uh, you also saw the space ducks flying around, being kind of annoying. And the fat aliens, like these right here, they just kind of walk back and forth. But uh, considering this is the last level, the uh, enemies in this level aren't too tough or annoying, especially compared to. Geez, the first level had more annoying enemies than this one. Uh, it's still a, kind of a challenging level, just finding everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. My health's back in full. See, I told you I'd be fine, guys. I told you. You believed me, didn't you? Right? Any chests up here? No. No. Just in diamonds. That's cool too. And these are the Gizmo Duck suits. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. No, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. That's a good thing Gyro brought all these Deus Ex Machinas with him. It'd be pretty bad otherwise. Alright, let's go find the next piece, which is off to the right. Yeah, the close space, space 
of this ship does kind of make it hard to get around in, admittedly. Especially when you like to pogo everywhere like I do, because pogoing is just so much more fun. Yeah, space ducks, whatever. Not too hard. Your barely register is annoying. Ow! 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 <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. Alright, let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, stupid space duck traders. What are you trying to hurt me for? Aren't we all ducks here? Why can't we be friends? Ah, ah, oh, oh, there we go. Uh, nope. Nope. Ah, I suck. <laughs> we'll just go up here now. <clears throat> anything in these rocks? Hey, a cake! The cake makes everything better. Now we can pretend I don't suck again. Damn it. Okay, yeah, I'm bad. I'm sorry. Well, let's see what's over here. I bet there's a thing. Fire one, fire two, fire three. Oh. How do you like that? Oh, that was a lot of effort. That was worth it, I think. Yeah. Some good came out of it after all. In the form of money. And ice cream! Money and ice cream. I don't know why I can't just use all this money. I have to buy some ice cream. But, uh. How dare you? Or maybe buy a tutorial to be better at this game than I'm terrible at. Yay! I'm really just gonna keep chasing me. The space sucks to keep chasing you, I guess, so that's kind of annoying. Well, he's just gonna get stuck up there now. Oh, my goal. It's Mrs. Piggly! Mrs. Piggly, now where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Yay. Especially since I missed her on the last level, I'm probably gonna need this extra life on this one. Uh, um, this one doesn't really have anything to do with the other, but yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm proud of myself for not dying yet. <laughs> Can't believe I'm still alive. <laughs> Alright, so let's go up here. Get some more Gizmo Duck piece. Yeah. Oh, I might die in this part. Let's find out. Oh, this is incredibly dangerous. Let's Gizmo Duck's wheel! Gizmo Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now, just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Hey, hey, you do not criticize the Gizmo Duck suit. Gyro invented something freaking awesome. Because Gizmo Duck is the best crime fighter ever. I wonder if Gizmo Duck ever teamed up with Darkwing Duck. I mean, Darkwing Duck was a DuckTales spinoff. If anybody can look into that for me, or just happens to know the answer, I would love to see that, because that legitimately sounds like the best duck-based thing ever. Really? Wow. Yeah, that would just be great. Oh, hey. What does that mean? What that Alright, so let's see. We still got the piece I missed down there, and then we move on to the moon vault. I don't, I don't, oh. Might help if I went to get the thing and just jump down like a dumb butt. I'm a dumb butt. And Gizmo Duck's helmet. That's Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Alright, so now I get to backtrack, instead of just moving on, you know. In the original version of this level, you just had to find a switch you could use to call Gizmo Duck. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Because it's safer. Uh, up here. 
Ranger. Come on, fat alien. Why are these aliens so fat anyway? You'd think they, you know, work off that weight just doing nothing but pacing back and forth all day. I didn't get to be number one by back and doing. I didn't get to be number one by back and doing. <laughs> oh, luck, I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't he worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skype, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. What? No, no! I oh well, I get something better than that. I get Dismo Duck helping me out by shooting aliens. Yes, he will shoot homing missiles at them and just generally be awesome as hell. And that is why this is the best level in the remake. Just the best. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, yeah! Gizmo Duck! Yeah! Uh, okay, so I guess sometimes he falls behind and you gotta wait for him to catch up. Come on, Gizmo Duck. Come on. You can do it. Yeah! He's firing those rockets! This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder! How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir! Good work, Gizmoduck. No? Ah, Flint Hat Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> But thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! Well, crap. Of course it wasn't gonna be easy. It's never easy. Stupid Beagle Boys. Wait, how are they breathing on the moon? I know how I'm breathing. I've got that, you know, oxygen gum. Oh, well. But now that we're done with the spaceship, it's time for the moon vault. Which is very linear. It just has a lot of Beagle Boys in it. Same old Beagle Boys as always. Super easy to deal with. Kind of boring. They're like, they're like the fat aliens, but less dangerous. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a little obvious. That's cool. Obvious money is still money. It's a good thing the Beagle Boys can't steal it. Anything over here? A little bit. 
You know, considering this level's supposed to be done last, you think it'd be harder. I remember it being harder on the NES, but maybe that's just me. Oh, stop whining, Scroogey. You can deal with it. that at all. Thanks, man. No, not that. But that's okay because the final heart container. Hooray! So this is the maximum life you can have on easy and normal. Uh, on hard and the other super difficulty, which I forget the name of, uh, there are only two extra heart containers, so the maximum you get is five. Not sure if I already mentioned that, but if I didn't, now you know. If I did before, well then, you still know. So, nothing lost. Hooray. Yeah, Eagles. This really is not at all difficult. Here. So, it's okay. Boss is coming up right here, and then we'll be done with the game. Let that be me. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. So now I fight a giant rat. Although at least now there's a reason to be fighting a giant rat, unlike in the NES version in which there was just a random giant moon rat. Why not? Uh... Uh, so the giant rats learned a few tricks. Uh, well, that was, ow. Really rather non-threatening. What the heck? Uh, getting kind of disappointing. Why is it so easy? Okay, stay right here. Completely safe. Wow, okay, um, do you get harder giant rat? Because, really, I'm barely trying here. Ah. I say, taking damage. I don't even think it can get me here. So that's... Really? Ah. Oh, I'm half dead, but he's probably almost dead. I'm just making stupid mistakes here, not being careful with my jumps. Being a little reckless. Oh! Oh, hey! He can hit me there! Okay. Really ah. Okay. So maybe this is... Oh, no. I got it. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's gonna keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's gonna make me. <laughs> all right, so we got the green cheese. Yay! And lots of money. Pretty good haul. Pretty good haul. We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine! <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flint Heart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough, but these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I... You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> 
Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic at a spell! Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Like a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh. <laughs> Greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spell to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck, under my command, I will rule the world. <laughs> Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dimses are hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home on Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. The lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures, fair and square. This is no time for bellyache and Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Bah, forget it. That she-devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Ah, uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! <laughs> Without your dime. I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability, and I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. Well... Um, this is new. Next time on Monster Party. Volcanic something, I guess. See you next time.